No weapon that is formed against me or you shall prosper. No weapon formed against you and I shall prosper. Even when people have talked about you, even if you've been separated from your family, mm, those weapons haven't prospered because you're still praising the Lord. You're still walking before the Lord. You're still trusting God. You haven't given up. No weapon formed against me. No weapon formed against you shall prosper. There's many times where I was talked about. There's many times where I heard lies made up about me. Even when I was in my relationship, certain um, lies that were uh, just coming through text messages to me and um, the one I was in a relationship years ago with and I was just seeing how Satan was trying to move in my life to try to break me. Even when family made up things about me and said certain things about me, I, I didn't, I chose to be silent because I knew and God reminded me that I don't have to defend myself on things that are not true. I don't have to go and fight something that God has already went before me to vindicate me in. Yes, there is people that call me weird. And yes, there is people that said all manner of things um, about me. My life wasn't perfect at all. And I made some bad choices. I've lied. I've I had struggled with lust and perversion and pornography, and God has broken me free. He's broken me free from even caring what people say, even when they feel like I'm fake or think I'm holier than thou or I'm, you know, whatever that the enemy is trying to get speak through them to try to move me or shift me. I don't care because I know who I am. Just like you know who you are and God, you have been through. It's like you've been through some hell. And some of it because of your own choices and because you have a big heart and because you love, you chose not to hurt those people that hurt you doesn't mean that you are weak. It takes a strong person not to retaliate or hurt somebody that hurts you. Jesus had to walk that road to not hurt someone that has hurt him. And it was many people that were coming at him, lying and making up lies. And, and the Bible said, and I don't know where you got to look it up, that he spoke not a word. Y'all, let me tell you. Whatever the, God has uprooted you from, you got to rejoice. And now you are not where you were in the name of Jesus. No weapon that was formed against you prospered. It has not made you lose your mind in the name of Jesus. You are still in the land of the living. It has not made you want to. Oh, in the name of Jesus. You are still in the land and living. I mean, there's people that have been, I don't know. I was, I, the enemy used to speak to me to try to get me to kill myself. Um, because I was always seeking validation for somebody else. And if they didn't validate me the right way or in a relationship, um, and they were just so mean, you know, it's just like I had to fight. It was more like I wanted to hurt myself than hurt somebody else. And that was the mindset that I was in, Jesus. Some of you, your own parents um, spoke word curses over you and 
didn't like you. Your own parents, your own mother was jealous of you. And, you know, um, and it just to see something like that is just unbelievable. And, you know, they believe they're, they're the person they were in the relationship over you and you felt abandoned or rejected. You felt left out. Your own dad left you hanging many times. And this goes for men too. You didn't feel like you were well taken care of or loved or nurtured. And so you had to try to find it through somewhere else or through somebody else. And some, and some of you are still trying to look for love in all the wrong places when love is only found in God. Jesus. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. No weapon formed. Mm. You are still standing. You are still praising God. You're still, you're still crawling. Even if you feel like you're crawling on a narrow road, you're still walking in forgiveness. You're still walking in love. You're remembering that God says, vengeance is mine, saith the Lord. Jesus. Jesus. <clears throat> and I was just in worship and I just, my, my spirit is so touched by the goodness of God, man. I've been, you know, just being a single mom and watching my children, watching the hand of God move, the hand of God move in our lives. Like how he comes through after we would pray. My sons, they stand strong on the Lord because of the things that they have seen him do. And there's many times I didn't have to say a word. I just prayed about it and God came through and my son seen it. It was certain things I needed for my sons and I took it to God. I didn't pick up the phone and call nobody. My sons need this. I got on my knees and I talked to God about it. And God came through for me. And he always has. So I don't have to depend on nobody and worry about what anybody has to say about me. Because it's God that has been there for me. The warfare that you don't see, the things that I go that that I had to go through in my mind. The things that I had to fight so I didn't have to won't sin against God. The things that the the men that came at me that I had to ignore and push away because I just wanted to give my life completely to God. Even if I went without certain things, I wasn't going to go and chase or whore myself for something. I gave it to God. Even, you know, just you, even your single mom, give it to God. God will come through in ways that you cannot even imagine. And my heart is thankful. <laughs> I just had to share that. Y'all just do not give up on God. He was, he has been there for you. Don't forget where he has bought you from. Don't forget what he has done to you. Because right now, let me tell you. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He maketh me to lie down in green pastures. He leadeth me beside still waters. He restores my soul. He leadeth me in the paths of righteousness for his name's sake. God is the one that leads us. He leads us to peace. He leads us to paths of righteousness. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death. That means you walk through a valley where, where people are just... They don't like you. They don't care for you. They look down on you um, because you love God. Because you love God. And those are the spirits that are operating in them. That's that is not the spirit of God. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil. I'm talking about the lies and the jealousy from people. And you're not even looking at people the way they look at you. Um, you look at them with love. You're not in the spirit of competition or anything with them. But for some reason, they feel like they have to be in competition with you or talk about you or put or gossip about you and throw word curses about um, upon you. But that's like walking through the valley of the shadow of death. You will fear no evil because you don't fear them. You don't fear the things that the threats or the intimidation from their spirits, you know. For thou art with me, thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. God's mouth is his rod. 
his mouth, his assurance, his word, and his staff. They comfort me. Thou prepares a table before me. God is preparing a table right now for those people that continue to try to stump you out and felt like you didn't matter. You was inadequate. Um, you can, just can't do things right. You just can't um whatever it is oh she always gonna be like this oh he always gonna be like this they ain't never they they got you in their mouth more than they got food in their mouth more than they got the word in their mouth more than they got prayer in their mouth i'm telling you but you still have loved your enemies and you have still prayed for them Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death i will fear no evil for thou art with me thy rod and thy staff they comfort me Thou preparest a table before me in the presence of my enemies. Thou anointest my head with oil. My cup run over. How many of you, your cup is running over? God has anointed your head in the name of Jesus with oil. He has anointed you because you sat before him. That's because you chose him over hurting someone else. You continue to chose, you choose, you chose his words. You chose not to react in a way you chose to fight down your flesh and what you really wanted to do to an individual, how they hurt you. You chose God. You chose the way of God. It didn't mean that you was a sucker. You just chose the way of God, his ways, his image. You chose his fruits of his spirit in the name of Jesus. Thou prepares a table before me in the presence of my enemies. Thou anointest my head with oil. My cup runneth over. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life. And I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. We are going to dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Yes, it hurts. But God had to make it. It was necessary for you to go through everything that you went through in your life. It was necessary. And some of the times when you were doing certain things in your life, you was being led by the devil. And you didn't even know you were being led by the devil. But now that you know. And some of you did know that you were being led by the devil and you made a choice to run with the devil. But now you dance with God. Now you praise God. Now you party with God. I was the one that made the choice to dance with the devil. And I knew certain things was wrong. But now that I've come in a full understanding of the love of God in my life. It's dishonorable for me to slap God in his face like, like he was just being put on the cross again when I know and I come to the knowledge and the full understanding of who God it really is in my life. How he is the lover of my soul. He is a sustainer of my strength. He is a joy when I'm feeling weak, Jesus, when I can, when I feel like I just, Lord, I can't do it no more, but he comes along and gives me joy. He gives me surprises like, man, I got this for you. And whatever I have prayed for, he has given me extra. I'm living in abundance right now in the Lord. <laughs> you can't tell me God can't do it. <laughs> God has been the head of my household. God has been my, my husband. He has been my peace. I haven't want, lacked anything. My children, they don't lack anything. They are, they come to the full understand, the understanding and knowledge of why people have been removed. And God will send certain people back because they were meant to be in your life. But certain people, he says, no. Because they are saying no to him. Jesus, God bless you guys. No weapon for it. I thank you, Father. I thank you, Father, for every individual that is listening to this word. Lord, prick their hearts, touch their spirits, Heavenly Father. I pray that they continue to hold on. To hold on to you. And to remember where you have bought them from. For them to remember what they had went through. When they were in their darkest moments and you reach down many times to show them how much you love them. How you took that weight off of their shoulders when they couldn't figure out while walking to you, while, while trying to give their lives to you and constantly moving towards you. How they were going to get those mistakes off their shoulders or the things that they have messed up when they were in the world. But God, you take the weight off. You make all things new to Heavenly Father. And the person, and it, that's the thing, I found out that I didn't have to, I wasn't alone, that you were there handling things that went before me. There's things I didn't even have to take care of or approach or address because of you, Father. God is a sovereign God. 
I don't care. You know, you got to pray for your enemies because they don't know better. But God is preparing the table. God is preparing the table. And they feel like that. The thing is, they're going to feel like you don't deserve it. But that's their problem because they have to submit to God. They have to learn the love of God. We can't force anybody to love God. We can't, you know, all you can do is just plant the seed and move on. It's an individual thing. My righteousness is not going to save you. Your righteousness is not going to save your family. They have to reach out to God. If they see you walking with God in the, in the favor of God and they see your righteousness and it touches their hearts. And they see how you're being blessed and it touches their hearts and it wants and it gravitates them toward the Lord. Well, amen. Amen. But they have to go before the Lord themselves. Jesus. Yes, it hurts when the people closest to you are betraying you and talking about you. It be the people that be in your own household, your own family. Why you got a pure heart and you're not saying anything about them, but saying good things for them to be blessed in prayer. They saying other manner of things about you. Pray for them. Because it's a lot of people dying before their time. Jesus. God bless you guys. I'm, I'm just, I'm thankful. And the spirit just hit me. You guys continue to stay in your Bible. Continue to pray and fast. We in the dark. We in some times and some biblical times. There's some serious times. Stay close to God, man. You ain't got to be moving to the left or the right. Stay out of the, don't get distracted. When God say, turn that TV off, turn that TV off. But let me tell you, God is preparing a table. God is preparing a table. And it's a blessing to be able to sup with the Lord. A real true sovereign God that brings you to a place of peace when there's chaos all around you. You're in a place of peace. You know there's a real God. Jesus. Jesus. God bless you guys. Bless your hearts, man. Y'all stay G'd up for God. That's that's what I say. And that's what I do in my life. No matter what the enemy is speaking to me, I don't care how anybody comes at me now because I know it's a lie. I know who what God calls me. I know who I am. I know who I am, what, who God says that I am. You all know who God says that you are. No more wavering. No more letting the enemy take you back and lying to you. Oh, you the same person. No, nah, time out for that. It's over. It's over. <laughs> Jesus, I didn't know this word was going to go like this, but God is good. God is good, y'all. Hold on to God's unchanging hand. God is real and he's about to show his hand in your life in a powerful way. Like you have never seen it. Yeah, that's why the devil mad. That's why people are mad. And the devil using people to be mad and jealous and envy of you. All of that. But that don't matter. Just keep, keep praying for people, man. Because people going to continue to talk. And when that table is made, they're going to talk even more. Just pray more, okay? God bless you guys.